Hi, today's problem is going to be about population genetics, and here's a problem. There are two alleles, capital A and small a, governing big size in the population, um, homozygous dominant and heterozygous individuals big are 1.5 cm, while homozygous recessive individuals are 1 cm. If the frequency of the uh, dominant allele in population is 0 0.25, what is the population mean ignoring the environmental effects? And if you know how to solve this problem, uh, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, first of all, I want to remind you Hardy-Weinberg formula that we are going to use today, and frequencies here stands for the three genotypes that two alleles may form, and this would be p squared plus 2pq plus q squared, and all this would equal to 1. And of course, uh, all the alleles p plus all the alleles q would equal to 1. And p squared P squared here stands for the homozygous dominant condition, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous frequency, and um, Q squared stands for the uh, frequency of the uh, homozygous recessive. So two alleles may form three uh, genotypes, but uh, we have here only two types of alleles. One is dominant allele, another one recessive. So P, as you see, stands here for the, all the dominant alleles that is capital A, and uh, Q stands for the, all the alleles that is uh, recessive uh, small allele A. So we know that uh, uh, dominant allele equal to its frequency equal to 0 0.25. So we can easily find uh, the Q number or frequency of the recessive allele small a and this is going to be 0 0.75 and if we add uh, these two numbers we are going to get 1. So now we know frequency of the both alleles and we can find uh, different genotypes free the frequencies that two alleles may form. So uh, first uh, we can find uh, frequency of the homozygous dominant and this is going to be p squared, and uh, we have to just um, square 0 0.25, and we are going to get an answer as a frequency of the allele uh, would equal to 0 0.0625, and uh, this would be uh, frequency of the homozygous dominant, and uh, we also can find frequency of the um, homozygous uh, recessive genotype, and this is going to be Q squared, and we know that Q number is uh, 0 0.75, so we have to multiply this number by itself or square it and uh, so we can find frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype and this is going to be equal to 0 0.5625 and this is frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype here so uh, we have to find now the frequency of the heterozygous genotype and according to this formula, this would be uh, 2pq, and this is, would be frequency of the heterozygous genotype. And we know that uh, number p is 0 0.25, and number q is 0 0.75. And this is would be easy mathematics, so this is going to be 0 0.375. And as you see, if we add all these numbers, 
we are going to get 1. So this would be 3 frequencies, these numbers, and if we add them, we are going to get 1. And of course we can easily convert these numbers to the, um, free, uh, to the uh, percentage form, so we just have to multiply uh, all the numbers by 100. So if we multiply this number by 100, or we can just move uh, this uh, decimal point two places to the right, we are going to get 6.25 percent. Here we go. We are going to get 56.25 uh, percent frequency of this genotype, uh, that is um, homozygous recessive, and frequency of the heterozygous genotype would be 37.5 uh, percent. And um, now. We can easily find uh, uh, the mean, so we have to multiply these numbers by uh, the size of the big. And we know that these two genotypes here, uh, that is homozygous dominant and heterozygous, the uh, big size would be 1.5 centimeters and uh, size of the big of this genotype homozygous recessive would be one centimeter. And that means that we have to multiply these numbers here by uh, uh, this is going to be homozygous dominant, so by 1.5 uh, centimeters. And heterozygous we also have to multiply by 1.5. And this number we have to multiply by 1. So uh, this is going to be the same number, 0 0.5625, and here we would have uh, 0 0.09375, and here we would have answer uh, as uh, 0 0.5625. And now what we have to do, we have just to uh, add all these three numbers together. So we have to add this number plus this number plus this number. And let's do it. So the first would be homozygous dominant and this is going to be 0 0.09375. And this is homozygous um, dominant plus uh, uh, homozygous recessive, and this is going to be 0 0.5625, and this is homozygous recessive plus heterozygous genotype, and this is going to be 0 0.56. 25. And this is going to be heterozygous genotype. So when we add all these numbers, we are going to get 1.21875. Or we can round this number to two decimal places. Uh, so this is going to be 1.22 centimeters. And uh, this is going to be our answer today. So the mean um, big size in this population would be 1.22 centimeters. And I hope everyone were able to solve this problem correctly, or at least now you would be able to solve analogous problems. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments or questions. See you in the next video. Goodbye.